In today's video, we're going to be comparing the 2022 PSG with the likes of Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar up against the PSG from back in 2013, who had Zlatan Ibrahimovic as their main man. Yo, the present-day PSG looks so freaking good on paper. It's such a shame that on the pitch, they're absolutely useless, man. Shocking, dreadful. No quality. How do you get knocked out of the Champions League round of 16 when you've got Messi, Mbappe and Neymar? Pochettino, I don't know what he's up to. And to be fair, Messi's been below average for PSG. What did he say? <laughs> Neymar's been shocking. Mbappe's been carrying them and he's going to be bouncing to Real Madrid most probably. Happy to be here. Their defense just forgot how to defend against Madrid. Donnarumma making mistakes. I don't know what happened. But on paper, this PSG side looks unreal. On paper. Remember that phrase, Marco Verratti, Marquinhos, Kimpembe, Mendes, Donnarumma, of course, a solid bench, Ramos on the bench. Like, honestly, on paper, the present-day PSG looks unreal, but on the pitch, story's different. And now let's take a look at the 2013 PSG side before they started buying players for ridiculous money. You know, before the Neymar era, you could say. They were smart about what they did. Ibrahimovic was their leader, changed the mentality of the club, you could say. Thiago Silver captain, players like Mota, Lavezzi was great, and who can forget they had David Beckham, although I feel like he was more of a marketing signing, but whatever. The, the PSG side was certainly interesting. Lucas Mora, who now plays for, I think, Spurs? Is he still at Spurs? I'm not sure. Alex as well. They still had Marco Verratti back in the day, would you believe it? Verratti has been in PSG for his life. Pastore as well. A very interesting team it was back in 2013. What we're going to do in this video is a couple of experiments with this PSG side. Side. First, we're going to put these two teams into career mode, run a simulation, and see which side comes out on top. What does EA think? Which PSG team is better? And also, I want to see what happens in the Champions League with these two. And then, of course, we've got the gameplay simulation. Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar up against Slatan. Should be fun. Also, if you've noticed something different with my FIFA, well, it's a mod that Shadowboy has made. I'll have his links in the description below. Classic players, everything. This mod has it all. It's, it's honestly unreal and you guys should check it out links will be in the description all right to not affect the simulation let's just use any random team all right so let's just do that okay we need to put both psg teams in the champions league we've got one of them in here and we need to put the other one as well psg 2013 so we got to remove probably a, a french club i guess we can remove lille yeah let's let's do that for now we'll put the 2013 psg in there both in pretty interesting groups boys okay let's see how this goes by the way if you do enjoy the content of this channel you know what to do drop a like subscribe and let's bring it by the way this mod is actually crazy like there are so many icons and everything in this pretty sure we've got r9 ronaldo in this mod ronaldinho and everyone like this mod is just crazy like it's put all the classic icons back at their historic club so that's how i've managed to get this all sorted and shadow boy made a custom mod to get both the versions of psg in it anyways let's run the sim and let me know in the comments who do you think is gonna finish out on top I have a feeling it's going to be the present day PSG. They're just too OP. We're at the end of the season. Who has managed to win league? Uh, let's see. What? 2013 PSG has been absolutely clapped. 11th. And well, the present day PSG have won the league by a massive margin. I didn't expect that, you know. Fair enough. Slatan couldn't carry it. I guess this makes sense. Even though we're like making fun of the present day PSG for their mentality and everything, they always end up winning league, huh? And. Like, on paper, they're actually so much better. So, kind of not surprised. Fair enough. Common sense. And Champions League, PSG topped their group with 14 points. Uh, this is, of course, the present-day PSG. What about the other one? The 2013 Ebra edition. They got sent to the Europa League. Oh, my lord. Fair enough. Fair enough. What did PSG do then? They beat Chelsea. They beat Villarreal. They got through Bayern. And they actually ended up winning the Champions League. Ladies and gentlemen, FIFA's unrealistic. Stop the cow. <laughs> Neymar wins the golden boot. Ibra scored about 19 goals, so fair enough. Assist-wise, yeah, this mod's got a lot of legends and everything. So Juninho, back at Lyon, 10 assists. Messi picking up 7 assists. That's, well, not too bad. And Messi scored 12 goals as well. Fair play. Oh, look at the kits we've got here. Some really cool classic kits, which we're going to use. Um, This is for the home uh, 2022 PSG side. I think we'll, we'll rock this kit. And for away, we could go red, alternate. I think let's go red. It'll, it'll just make sense. 
All right, here we go. 2022 PSG at the Parc des Princes up against their 2013 version. This should be fun. By the way, PSG fans were booing Messi and Neymar. Unbelievable, man. I've never seen any club boo Messi. Like, wow. Like, of course, Madrid boos Messi and everything like that. But home fans booing Messi? That's so unheard of. Unreal. By the way, look at that Beckham photo of there. That looks so cool. Also, Kylian Mbappe, I think he's going to join Madrid. <laughs> All right, let's see what this game brings. My early prediction is career mode simulation, PSG thrashed the 2013 version. Like, yeah, Ibra and Co couldn't compete. But I've got a sneaky feeling on the pitch, it's going to be a bit different. And my money is on Ibra. Oh, yes, David Beckham. Who would have thought we'd be seeing him play in one of these videos? But yeah, that was, that was a bit sad from him. First corner of the game to be taken by Neymar. Messi in the box is uncommon. And it's put for Messi. You think Messi's winning a header? Oh, oh, yeah, that's just not happening. Messi, come on, I want to see a goal from Messi. He doesn't score in real life these days, but could score now. Linking up well, killing Mbappe. Mbappe, Messi, chance, scores. No, who scored? Neymar, I think, scored. It was offside anyways. Guys, what do you think is wrong with PSG in real life, though? I just feel like it's a mentality issue. And also, Pochettino is utterly useless, man. He is not getting the best out of his team. I really feel like next year we're going to see Zinedine Zidane coach PSG and I think things will be a lot better under him because he's just he knows how to deal with superstars and Pochettino yeah doesn't <laughs> Lavezzi going for goal from distance off the crossbar Ibra on the rebound scores offside again we've seen a couple of goals happen both offside how on earth did Lavezzi not get the goal they're so freaking unlucky what an effort from Ezekiel Lavezzi look at that strike oh my lord and also Ibra was just offside. David Beckham now. Come on, give, give me a cross for Ibra. Beckham, just go for the cross. Ah, oh, I want to see a Beckham whipped cross, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Ibra again. Already scored once, but it was offside. This 2013 PSG side looked much more like a team, guys. I'm not going to lie. And they've got space here to work with. Lucas Mora with a chance. Goes for goal. Finesse shot saved by Donnarumma. Trust me. 2013 PSG looking a lot better. David Beckham to take the set piece. It's a lopped one into the box. And everybody just missed it. Zlatan with a bit of trickery. How does he move like that for a guy that's 6'4", 6'5"? Unreal. Look at him. Look at him go. Well, couldn't beat Nuno Mendes. Now we see Leo Messi. Chance for him to run through. And he just gets taken out. Wow. Oh, here we go. Marco Verratti. Mbappe. This is, this is looking nice. Mbappe. Ah. <sighs> 2022 PSG just can't string a few passes together. Oh, that's a lovely ball for Lucas. He's going to score this. How did he not score that? Donnarumma, unreal. Wow. Fair enough. Look at that for a save from Donnarumma. And okay, I think he had no idea about it. And he, it's, he's lucky it didn't go in. Another cross coming in. Lavezzi controls it. Oh, what's happening here? Handball, I think. Ah, I think it's just a free kick for... Uh, Donnarumma and Co. Mbappe going for goal and out of nowhere chance for Mbappe to do something. And you, you know, he, he's probably the one who can score for this PSG side. Good save. Set piece. Messi to take. Decent. Nah, it's a terrible delivery. Gets it away. Verratti, though, looks for Hakimi. Can they do something? Yeah, they've been barely able to do anything in this game. Verratti now with a chance. And it falls for Leandro Parades. Another opportunity and the keeper saves. Can we like see a goal, please? I, I want to see some goals. There's just been nothing like saves plenty, but I want to see some goals, man. Come on now. All right, we might see goals now. We might see goals now. Brilliant football. How did they not score? Oh my Lord. How have we not seen a single goal in this first half? Look at the XG for 2013 PSG 2.4. How have they not scored? Oh, Neymar, a gift. An absolute gift out of nowhere. PSG scores. It's it's the Neymar and Co get the lead and dancing on them. So undeserved. It's so freaking undeserved. Because, yeah, barely any chances for them in the first half. And they've sneaked to go all the way. And let's see. Let's see what this game brings. Like, look at that. It's it's just shocking defending from, I think it was Jale. And it's 1-0. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Are we seeing a chance here? Lucas controls that. Mark in yours. I think now we're going to see... PSG 2022 edition just defend and maybe try and hit them on the break. Messi, please do something, man. Looks for Mbappe. Mbappe now running. Looks for the pass inside for Wijnaldum. Mbappe gets it back. Bang, of course. Kylian Mbappe was bound to score in this. 
you just know, killing Mbappe there scores, celebrates with Wijnaldum and co. There you go, of course, this man had to score, 2-0 up, Zlatan. That's a good ball. And the finesse shot again saved by Donnarumma. Where was this Donnarumma in the Champions League, by the way? David Beckham with his classic set piece. And it was a good one. Donnarumma, what a save. Oh, my Lord. David Beckham again to take the set piece. Let's see what he can do. It's a good ball in. Pastore's header. Ah, nothing happening there. 18 minutes. I think we're going to like, most likely see... 2022 PSG grab another goal. You know, fun fact, even though the video is titled Messi's PSG, let's be real, this is not Messi's PSG. This is killing Mbappe's PSG as Neymar tries to get a goal there. Messi, oh, that was nice. Messi kept it in well. Chance after chance. Keeper saving after all those chances. And it's, yeah, I think finally in the second half, we saw 2022 PSG actually play well. Are we going to see another goal? Wijnaldum is just broken through and there you go. It's all over. 3-0 for 2022 PSG. No matter all the jokes, I think current PSG is just way too much for the PSG back in the day. And there you have it, folks. Full time. 2022 PSG absolutely destroys Ibra's PSG in incredible fashion and in like the career mode sim as well as the gameplay. And that's how we're going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.